In this session, we're going to take a look at installing Paid Memberships Pro and beginning the setup process. Now, since it's a free plugin, we can simply go to Plugins, Add New, type in the name, and there it is at the top. Now, it's worth noting that many of the add-ons are found with the same search. Let's go ahead and install. And activate. There we are. Now on the left, we have a memberships nav item. We're going to start first looking at page settings. Now, at its core, Paid Memberships Pro is an e-commerce platform. You're selling access to content. And so, as such, it needs these pages to exist in the system. An account page, a billing information page, cancel page, checkout page, confirmation page, invoice page, and a levels page. Now, you could go create these all by hand, and then one by one, put these short codes in there. But, very conveniently, here at the top, you can click to have them generate them for us. And now, the following pages have been created. Those are the post IDs for those pages. And you can see that they all exist. And if we go over to Pages, you can see that they are there also. Additionally, they're all a child of the account page. So that's exceptionally convenient that those are created for you. The next thing I want to look at is payment settings. Now, a payment gateway is a piece of software that sits between you and a credit card processing organization because you don't have access to process credit cards. Very few people do. So a gateway allows you to communicate with those people and make sure things get it and make sure things happen properly. Right now, out of the box, we have access to a testing only payment gateway, which we will stick with for now. Pay by check, Stripe, several different PayPal options, Authorize.net, Braintree, To Checkout, and Cybersource. My favorite is Stripe, of course, and there's actually an OS training series devoted only especially to Stripe. And watching that will actually help you configure Stripe here, since it's very, very simple. But for now, we'll leave it at testing. And then, within our gateway environment, we can choose sandbox testing or live production. So if we wanted to, we could choose Stripe and leave it in sandbox testing. And then our site would interface with Stripe in a testing environment. But again, I'm going to leave it testing only. Then you get to choose your currency. As you can see, there are many options. And you get to choose what credit card types you take. Then here we have the option to accept taxes. Now, most places in the US do not tax for things sold on the internet especially non-tangible things like access to a website. So you may be able to simply leave this blank. But you should check. You are dealing with finances and you are dealing with laws. It would be very sad to be wrong. Here we have some SSL settings. We have the option to force SSL. I recommend it. And I recommend that you buy an SSL certificate. There are a variety of places you can get one. And basically, it encrypts everything that happens between the end user and your site. This protects everyone. It protects you from a lawsuit. It protects your users from whomever may be spying on them, whether it be their government or their neighbor or whatever. This form does not set up SSL for you. It simply allows you to tell your WordPress install that you have installed SSL somewhere else. 
If you need help, I strongly recommend you contact your internet hosting provider. If they don't know how to do it, then you could hire a developer, or you could learn how to yourself, or you could get a different hosting environment. The next thing is an SSL seal code. Sometimes you'll see at the bottom of online stores, this site protected by such and such security firm. It's just a small bit of HTML and you could paste it in this box. And then there's an extra HTTPS URL filter. This checks one last time to make sure that the, any URLs that you may have pasted in your own code get an SSL certificate attached to them. So to review, we looked at the pages that are required for Paid Membership Pro, and we saw that Paid Membership Pro can create them for us. And then we also looked at the Payment Gateway and SSL settings. You can choose any Payment Gateway on this list, and there are actually more that you could purchase. You can decide what currencies you want to take, credit cards, taxes, and your SSL materials. I can't stress SSL strongly enough. If you're going to take money, have SSL. If you don't have SSL, don't take money. It's just too risky. We'll take a look at some more settings in the next video.